Kini. Welcome to today's headline. Unam Dekano's release will boost APC chances in Southeast. Unam Dekano's release will boost APC chances in Southeast. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as a read to this news. An Abuja based activist, Deji Adenyo Jula, said the release of Mazi Unamdekanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, would boost the Old Progressives Congress, APC, chances in the 2023 presidential elections. Former Lagos State Governor, Bola Ahmed Tinubu is the APC presidential candidate. Daily Post reports that there have been clamors for the federal government to release Kano following a judgment of the court of appeal. However, the court later granted a stay of the order. The court of appeal in Abuja had declared as illegal and unlawful the abduction of Kanu. From Kenya to Nigeria and quashed the entire terrorism charges brought against him by the federal government. It ruled that the federal government breached all local and international laws in Kanu's extraordinary rendition to Nigeria. Body Antony General of the Federation, AGF Abubakar Malami, had vowed that Kanu would not be released, stressing that the federal government would pursue other charges against Kanu. Prior to his arrest, the IPOB leader had vowed to ensure no election was held in the southeast until the government approved a referendum that would lead to the creation of Biafra. With his arrest in June 2021 and continued incarceration, some Nigerians believe that releasing Kano would jeopardize the successful conduct of the 2023 elections in the southeast. Amid the clamor for Kano's release, some people are of the opinion that APC would get a few votes in the southeast. These claims are, are anchored on the agitations that the southeast should be allowed to produce Nigerians president in 2023. Of all the top political parties, only the Liberal Party held Pistons a better chance of getting more votes in the Southeast because it is because its presidential candidate, Peter Lobby, is from the region. However, Adenya just said releasing Kano would boost APC's chances of getting votes in the Southeast. Adenyaju noted that politicians can use Kano's release as a political strategy in the Southeast. Speaking with Daily Post, he said it will boost APC's chances. It will boost the morale of their supporters and that would be to the advantage of the ruling party and the PDP. The only party it will affect is the Labour Party, who are expecting to get some significant vote from the Southeast. If the federal government decides to release Unam Dekanu, it will increase the ruling party's chances of getting a favorable outcome in the election. It can be used by politicians 
as a campaign strategy in the southeast so they can have something to go home and campaign with. Like I have said, keeping Kano does not add any value to the federal government. What value are they going to derive from keeping a man that the court has granted bill and said even his arrest is unconstitutional? You can't build something on nothing in law and you can't give what you don't have. The government can't in any way prove the guilt of Kanu because they first have to return him back to where he was taken in Kenya. That is a small thing for any court to rule because it is extraordinary rendition which is state's capital and abduction of citizens. This is prohibited under international law and there is no easy way out for the government. It will just be right for the government to release him because the next government may most likely release him. An Abuja-based activist, Deji Adenyajula, said the release of Mazi Unamdekanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, would boost the All Progressives Congress APC chances in the 2023 presidential elections. Daily Post reports that there have been clamors for the federal government to release Kanu following a judgment of the court of appeal. However, the court later granted a stay of the order. The Court of Appeal in Abuja had declared as illegal and unlawful the abduction of Kano from Kenya to Nigeria and quashed the entire terrorism charges brought against him by the federal government. It's ruled that the federal government breached all local and international laws in Kano's extraordinary rendition to Nigeria. But the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF Abubakar Malami, had vowed that Kano would not be released, stressing that the federal government would pursue other charges against Kano. Prior to his arrest, the High Public had vowed to ensure no election was held in the southeast until the government approved the referendum that will lead to create Biafra. Now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.